G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, so today we're back on Space Engineers and what I wanted to show you today was all about batteries. So if you ever wanted to know how many batteries you need for your ship or your build, then look no further. So first what we're gonna have a look at is this ship behind me. Um, and I'm gonna work out for you guys how many um, or how much power the thrusters use um, and then from there we can kind of determine how many batteries we need to put on on the mining ship so you can sort of do this without actually having to fly the ship um, if I'm being perfectly honest though the best way to do this is just by trial and error just add batteries until you have enough batteries to um, you know uh, power your thrusters and it stops going in the red but if you really want to sit there and calculate it out then I'll show you how to do that so we'll go back to the first person view jump inside the cockpit and what we're going to do is we're just going to have a look at the stats for a battery uh, sorry go to control panel so if we have a look at the battery um, obviously this mining ship has six batteries um, it, now if we have a look at the stats for the battery um, this is a small grid large battery so that particular battery has a max output of four megawatts um, and it has a max stored power of one megawatt hour so what it means by one megawatt hour is that we can draw one megawatts from this battery for one hour and it will power us the whole time and then after that hour it will run out so yeah that's basically what that means um, now if we add all these batteries together we have a total of about 24 megawatts so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how much the thrusters are going to draw when we actually fly this ship around. So if we look at the small small grid thrusters, um, the max power uh, that we need to run a small grid thruster is 600 watts and the max power that we need to run a small grid large thruster is 2.4 megawatts. So if we go and add all of the thrusters together, then that's not really gonna give us an accurate answer. So what we need to do is we need to figure out the thrusters on three sides. So what, what I mean by that is when you're traveling and the ship is flying forward, then obviously the, the rear thrusters are going. But the forward thrusters can't be going because you're traveling forward so we only need to worry about the rear thrusters and then obviously the ones on the bottom and we can only travel in one direction side to side at any given time so we're only going to use either the one side of the ship's thrusters and either the front or rear thrusters and then the bottom thrusters so that gives us three groups of thrusters that we have to figure out so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add all of these thrusters together, the, their power, the amount of power that they use. Um, and then from there, we're going to work, work that out. And before we worked out that the batteries put out 24 megawatts. So we need to kind of be a little bit under that. Um, if we're a little bit over, it doesn't matter too much. So I know for a fact on this ship that we have 21 thrusters in the downwards direction because this is a mining ship and it needs heaps um, so I've got 20 small thrusters and I've got one large thruster um, so if we calculate all those thrusters out that works out to be 14.4 megawatts uh, now on the back I have 11 thrusters which works out to be 6.6 .6 megawatts uh, in the forward direction I have 10 thrusters which works out to be 6 megawatts and then I have eight thrusters on either side which works out to be 4.8 megawatts so if we go and add the downward thrusters the backwards thrusters and the sidewards thrusters together then that should give us a pretty accurate uh, estimation of what what amount of uh, power they're going to use from the batteries so we'll add 14.4 megawatts for the bottom thrusters plus 6.6 .6 megawatts for the backwards thrusters and then plus 4.8 megawatts for the sidewards thrusters and we come to a value of 25.8 megawatts now you remember how I said before that this particular ship uses 
uh, can only produce 24 megawatts worth of power. So we seem to be short by about 1.8 megawatts. But with this particular mining ship, I actually have more thrusters on the bottom than what I need. So it never really uses them at 100%. So I've tested this ship before and I know for a fact that it runs perfectly fine and it never goes into the red. So yeah, that's basically how you can figure out how many thrusters you need. Um, now obviously there are other things on ships that use more power like drills, radios, things like that, uh, lights, but they're usually pretty negligible. So really you only need to really calculate out the thrusters. It's not until you start moving into large grid ships where you have jump drives and things like that do you start needing to calculate that sort of stuff out. So that brings me to the second part of the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on one of my large grid ships and I'm going to show you how many batteries you need to run that ship. So we'll just exit the cockpit here, activate our jetpack and we'll head off over this mountain. Now beyond here I have two ships. Um, this one on the right here is like a just a shuttle just to get you to and from space. Um, that thruster looks a bit weird. I think they've changed the graphics in this. It, it, it doesn't look the same as it did before. Anyway, um, so this is the Atlas. It's a heavy transport ship. And this ship here, um, it's designed to carry a lot of cargo. So what I've done is I've actually put eight jump drives on this particular ship. Um, now, jump drives, they consume a lot of power. So just one jump drive to charge up a jump drive is 32 megawatts. Now, if we go and have a look at one of these batteries, we can see that the max output for one of these batteries is 12 megawatts. So we would need three of these batteries just to charge one jump drive. So yeah. So this, this particular ship has 22 batteries. So we have a max output on this ship of 264 megawatts. Now if we add the eight jump drives together, which draw 32 megawatts, then that works out to being, so 32 times 12, oh, sorry, 32 times eight. So that works out to be 256 megawatts. So I know that the batteries on this ship they push out 264 megawatts. So we have about 12 megawatts to play with. No, sorry, eight megawatts to play with. So we've got a little bit of power left over. Um, so that means that I can run this ship on battery power, uh, not have the reactors active, and it still has enough power to charge all of the jump drives. And that's basically what I wanted, wanted the ship to do. Now the ship also has a refinery. It also has assemblers, and it also has O2 H2 generators. So you need to add all these things together um, to try and figure out how much power your ship is gonna draw in total. So if I add all those things together on this ship, it has 10 O2 H2 generators, two assemblers, one refinery, and eight jump drives. Um, it does have a few other little bits and pieces here and there, but as I said before, lights, um, modules, blocks, they don't really require that much power so you can kind of ignore them. Um, it's not until something starts drawing like one megawatt that you should probably start worrying about it. Um, so with that in mind, the entire ship draws 267 megawatts. But obviously the entire ship, all these batteries that I have here can only supply us with 264 megawatts. So realistically, we would need to add another battery if we wanted to power everything on the ship all at once with only battery power. But for me, I have reactors on this ship and I never find myself in a position where I'm charging jump drives, using the refinery, using assemblers and using O2 H2 generators all at the same time. So I don't really need all of that power. And, you know, you'd 
you don't want to go overboard with batteries. You don't want to just put on like 150 um, because they're, they're quite heavy. So basically the, the, the amount of weight a block has is determined by the amount of components you have to put into that block. So obviously batteries have a lot of battery components in them and um, they're very heavy. So yeah. So yeah, that's um, basically how you can calculate out how many um, batteries you need in your ship. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, please give it a like and consider subscribing and put some comments down below on some other things you would like me to show you in the in the game. Uh, things you would like me to show you how to do, show you how to build, show you how to calculate out, um, some ideas, some bases, whatever you guys want to do. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.